If you're in the process of making a decision as to whether you're going to have surgery, such as Mohs micrographic surgery, or radiotherapy to treat your skin cancer, you probably need some idea about what the side effects are. When I'm speaking to patients about radiotherapy, I can tell them what the side effects are, but sometimes a picture tells a thousand words. So two of my patients have kindly given me permission to share photographs of what the early side effects of radiotherapy for skin cancer looked like for them. Now in the first patient, she had a basal cell carcinoma on both sides of her nose and they actually grew and met in the middle of her nose. So I had to treat the whole nasal tip from here across to here. Now surgery would have been quite disfiguring for her. She'd have lost a lot of nasal tissue and cartilage, so her appearance would undoubtedly have been changed. So radiotherapy was a good option for her. She completed 10 fractions of radiotherapy over two weeks, and she came to see me a week later, very upset with the side effects she was experiencing. So this is what I would consider to be a brisk radiotherapy reaction, and this is what it might look like a week after the radiotherapy is finished. This is at the severe end of the spectrum for my patients. You can see that the nose is very red, there's some scabbing. In the areas where that scabbing has come away, there's some bleeding. Her most distressing symptom actually was nasal congestion because the lining of the nose was also inflamed. So what did I do? Firstly, I gave her some gel, some flaminal gel. That's a silicone-based gel to put over the nose that keeps it nice and moist. It also has some enzymes in it that helps with the, the crusting and the scabbing. And it also contains some antibacterial properties. So that's very helpful to help the healing. I gave her some steroid nasal spray, which damped down the nasal congestion and helped her to breathe more clearly, particularly at night. I also gave her some dressings to put over the nose. Now, when she was at home, I asked her to keep the dressings off just to allow the healing to occur naturally. But when she was lying in bed, she put a silicone non-adhesive dressing over the nose. That kept it moist and it stopped her marking her pillowcases and stopped her sticking to the pillowcases overnight. Now this is what she looked like three weeks later. Now I hope this picture reassures you that while you may experience some very early, quite upsetting side effects, they do get better. And over time, most of my patients experience an excellent cosmetic outcome. And she was very happy with her appearance and how she was feeling just three weeks after that first picture I showed you. Now for the second patient, we're gonna walk through the whole process. So this is what her basal cell carcinoma on the tip of her nose looked like when I first met her. Now this is the radiotherapy planning process. You can see that I've drawn around the tumour that I want to treat and I've added a margin around it to make sure that I'm treating any potential microscopic extension of that tumour to reduce the likelihood of it coming back. This time the reaction was quite dry. You can see the redness around the skin cancer that we've treated and the skin cancer itself has completely scabbed over. Over the next two to three weeks, that scab repeatedly came away until eventually it came away and didn't come back, revealing new, healthy skin underneath. And this is what her nose looked like four weeks after radiotherapy finished. You can see that the wound is completely healed, there's no evidence of residual skin cancer, and there's no ongoing skin reaction. You can see that there is some loss of tissue at the site of the basal cell carcinoma, but I think that will improve over time. So, if you've just had radiotherapy and you're worried that your skin reaction is out of the ordinary or is never going to get better, let me reassure you that it does. And ask for any gels or creams or dressings to keep you comfortable until the skin reaction settles. The vast majority of my patients are very happy with the cosmetic outcome of the radiotherapy for skin cancer. By showing you two quite brisk reactions to radiotherapy, I hope this will inform your decision as to whether you'd like to have radiotherapy or surgery for your skin cancer. I think to have an informed decision, you probably need to meet with somebody who offers both radiotherapy and Mohs micrographic surgery so that you can work out which treatment is best for you.